947 on this border battle Saturday morning and Carl Nelson, the chief scientist with the Imagination Station, and I are sporting the latest in men's eyewear this morning. That's right. And it's also protective. It's a dual purpose. Good morning. Exactly. To you. Good morning. So we just passed Thanksgiving. We got lots of leftovers. We just saw Kelly with some flaming cheese. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd talk antacids oh, today. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> so <coughs> right here, this is my model of a stomach. All right. Oh, got a little okay. bit of water in there, and there's just a little magnetic stir bar down at the bottom spinning around. All right. Okay. Now we're talking about acidity in your stomach. So we need some way to identify whether this liquid is acidic or alkaline, all right? And that comes right here. This little beaker contains an acid-base indicator. Just pour it right in. There we go. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. That is a lot of acid. Well, actually, that green color indicates alkaline. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> no, no, this is going to be one of our tests, right? Okay. So green is alkaline, but this is a little hydrochloric acid, hence the safety glasses, gotcha. right? So we'll add a little bit of hydrochloric acid, and we'll see the color change from that green to a little bit of a red. Whoa. Okay. Look at that. So this is our, that's our indicator range. Green so is good. Red is acidic. Gotcha. This is upset stomach. I can identify this that. This is upset stomach. Now, <laughs> if you have the upset stomach, which could be caused by eating too quickly, you get a lot of acid production in the stomach and you feel uncomfortable, you'll reach for an antacid. Now, there's a lot of them out there on the market, but the one I like because of its chemistry, it's milk of magnesia. Mm. All right. So go ahead and just pour that. That's a whole dose for an adult. Dump Whoa. that right in. And you can immediately see, what, what is it now? It's not acidic, it is? Toilet bowl blue. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, it is alkaline. Okay, so the acidity has gone away. So Tony, I want you to jazz up our stomach with right. a squirt of acid. So this is, would be if we even kept eating more. Correct, and give it a good squirt. Okay. And that, okay, so there check that go. out. We're getting a little bit of red at the bottom, <laughs> but the magnesium hydroxide is now dissolving. It's counteracting and it. counteracting it. It's just okay. like Superman ice cream. It is. And check this out, it's going acidic, it goes back to Whoa. alkaline. All right, now, the interesting thing, juice it up again, give me some more acid there. <laughs> so what's nice about this is it's not a one-time dose, okay? It keeps working time wow. and time again. And in fact, you notice it's working a little bit slower as we keep doing this. But still, who it's would still keep eating at this point? Exactly. <laughs> now, the interesting thing here is that the magnesium hydroxide does not all dissolve in the water right away. That's right. why it keeps bouncing back. I saw little chunks of it immediately yeah. coagulating. Just a tiny bit actually dissolves in there. But as we add more and more acid, try it one more time here, you're going to notice that it's taking longer. See, we're staying more acidic right. and it's starting to clear up. Tony, I want you, when this turns back to green, just dump all your acid right in there. Okay. All right. Here we go. The I'm going to carefully dump the acid. Just dump the whole thing right in there. <laughs> hey! See, we've gone to that red color, but we've also gone completely clear. All the magnesium hydroxide has gone and neutralized the acid and come out of solution. It's all gone. At wow. this point, you would need another dose. Yeah. Okay? So it's kind of some nice chemistry of how the solubility changes based on the acidity level, and it just keeps working and working and working. And so does Carl. He's always working at the Imagination <laughs> Station. In fact, if you want to go visit him, he's at One Discovery Way. And you guys, are you open today? We Holiday? are open today, Excellent. yeah. It's a Saturday, so if you're a Lucas County resident, 12 and under, with an adult, you get in free. We've got dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. All sorts of cool stuff. Now, you'd need a lot of milk and magnesia for the dinosaurs. For a dinosaur, you yeah. would, yes. All I, right. Yeah. <laughs> Dump it all in there. That is this week's Imagine It. We're going to turn it now over to Christy with your Action News Alerts.